Welcome to Celestial Chronicles. Amid the boundless realm of our being, we frequently contemplate life's enigmas and the mysteries that await beyond. This quest ignites our curiosity and tests our comprehension. In this exploration, we decipher the elusive notions of infinity and the afterlife's realms, distinguishing fact from widespread fallacies. Our earthly existence occupies much of our discourse and thought, yet it represents merely a sliver of the eternal journey ahead. Contemplating the afterlife often leads us astray with preconceived notions. It's crucial to arm ourselves with accurate insights regarding the afterlife's domains, let's demystify six prevalent myths and uncover their truths. Are you prepared to set forth on a remarkable odyssey? To challenge what's accepted and uncover the veiled? Embark with us as we navigate the transcendent narratives of life beyond, discerning myth from verity. Misconception, heaven is boring. Here's a delightful revelation, heaven is anything but dull. While its exact nature is a mystery, we're assured it surpasses earth in splendor, as depicted in Revelation 21. Considering God's creation of earth with all its wonders, it's not far-fetched to envision heaven brimming with life's joys. Imagine a place where ice cream, wildlife, sports, and breathtaking landscapes are not just present but elevated, where every good thing is amplified and every ill is absent. Truly, it's an anticipation filled with excitement. Misconception, hell isn't real. Hell is a real place, and we know that because everything we read about hell in the Bible describes it that way, Matthew 25 verse 46. Jesus himself talked about hell as a real place, so we can trust that it is. Misconception, in heaven, we turn into angels. Humans and angels are distinct entities, our transition to the afterlife doesn't transform us into celestial beings. The scripture in 2 Corinthians 5 verses 1 to 5 speaks of a transformation that awaits us, a new, glorified form that bears resemblance to our current physical selves, yet is perfected for the heavenly realm. This divine metamorphosis promises continuity and renewal, not a conversion into an entirely different creature. Misconception, hell is filled with red demons with pitchforks. The exact conditions of hell remain shrouded in mystery. Scriptural passages paint a daunting picture, depicting it as a realm of sorrow, despair, and isolation from the divine. It's described through vivid imagery, wailing, clenching of teeth, enveloping darkness, and unrelenting fire. These portrayals convey a place devoid of solace and replete with torment. Hell signifies an eternal separation from God, and in his absence, no goodness can dwell, referenced in Matthew 3 verse 12, Matthew 13 verses 41 to 42, Revelation 14 verse 11. It's a stark reminder of the profound absence of all that is good and the presence of ceaseless anguish. Misconception, I can go from hell to heaven. Eternity is unchanging, signifying that once a destination is reached, there is no passage between realms. The decisions we make in this life cast long shadows into eternity. Embracing faith and walking in the footsteps of Jesus, as per John 3 verse 16, opens the path to an everlasting union with God in heaven. Conversely, choosing a solitary path, one that diverges from Jesus' teachings, leads to an eternal existence devoid of God's presence, as mentioned in Thessalonians 1 9. This dichotomy underscores the weight of our earthly choices on our eternal destiny. Misconception, you can get to heaven by being good enough. You can never be good enough to get into heaven. All of us are affected by sin, and sin is anything we do that goes against God's best. We all mess up and make mistakes. No one is perfect, and we're told that the penalty for our sin is death apart from God, Romans 3 verse 23. However, because God loves us, he sent Jesus to this world to save us from sin and death, John 14 verse 6. Jesus died and rose again to rescue us from sin, and it's only by placing our trust in him that we can spend eternity in heaven, Romans 6 verse 23. As we conclude today's episode of Celestial Chronicles, let's ponder one final thought. What if the afterlife is not just a destination, but a journey that begins here and now? What if our choices today echo into eternity? Imagine a place where every joy is magnified, every sorrow is unknown, and every moment is a treasure beyond compare. This is the promise of heaven, a realm of endless wonder and delight. But have you ever wondered, what makes heaven so special? Is it the absence of pain, the presence of love, or the beauty of harmony? And what about hell? Could it be that the true horror of hell is not in fiery pits, but in the eternal absence of all that is good and pure? At Celestial Chronicles, we've journeyed through myths and truths, seeking clarity in the midst of mystery. But the journey doesn't end here. We invite you to join the conversation. What are your thoughts on the afterlife? Have you ever considered how your life today shapes your eternity? Remember, it's not about being good enough, it's about embracing a path of faith, hope, and love. So, as we part ways, ask yourself, are you on the path that leads to eternal joy? Thank you for tuning in. 
If you're curious to explore more, subscribe to Celestial Chronicles and join us next time as we unravel more mysteries of the celestial realm. Until then, keep contemplating, keep questioning, and may your journey be filled with enlightened discoveries.